Hey guys, I'm Dimension Jumper, and welcome back to another theory video. Now, uh, is it today, as of recording this video, it is the fifth anniversary of the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, and I thought, uh, why not make a theory video about the the the, the upcoming sequel um, that's going to be re released sometime this year, and more. Um, to be more specific, I'm going to be talking about the possible locations of the Triforce. Now, as a quick recap, the Triforce is an ancient relic um, that can grant any wish um, to a person who touches it. And uh, it was created by the three cool goddesses, Farol, Din and Nehru, who after creating Hyrule, they just left and leaving behind them the Triforce. And a lot of people have sort of out after it, like um, Ganondorf, the whole civil war that took place I think before the events of A Link to the Past and it has also appeared in several games like uh, Ocarina of Time, uh, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, A Link Between Worlds, A Link to the Past those kinds of games whether it's doing, during a cutscene of, uh, of characters talking about it or um, the travels being used to grant specific wish wishes for some of the people and yeah I'm, I'll be going over some of the possible locations it could be in for the sequel uh, and for, um, so first going to start off um, how it might be with Princess Zelda. So the reason why I think uh, the Triforce might be with Zelda is because um, during the events before Breath of the Wild happened uh, Zelda was able to unlock um, her sealing ability to save Link and then went over to Hyrule Castle to try and stop Ganondorf long enough for Link to wake up and um, defeat Ganon once and for all. Now, um, during um, her mission sort of um, thing, um, before she awoke her power, uh, she went to the three different springs, that being the spring of courage, wisdom and power. And this is kind of similar to how um, the Zelda from Skyward Sword does it, because in Skyward Sword, Zelda goes to the Spring of Courage, the Spring of Power, and then um, the Temple of Time. Uh, and even though that the Temple of Time um, it is in you know, Breath of the Wild, it's not the same Temple of Time um, than in um, Skyward Sword, because you know it's like kind of like the same one from Ocarina of Time, but. Um, Zelda from Breath of the Wild does follow the same sort of route that the one from Skyward Sword does. So, um, in and, and it's talked about in some of the memories. So, um, in memory 12, father and daughter, um, Zelda tells her father that she just returned from the Spring of Courage. Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the Goddess. And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. In Memory 13, Slow Bring Power, um, you can see Zelda and Link at the Spring of Power while Zelda is trying to pray uh, in order to awaken her power. I'm seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Uh, memory 14 to Mount Lanayru, where, where Zelda tells Link that she's going to be um, going to this to the Spring of Wisdom on her thirteenth uh, on her seventeenth birthday. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17. To 
for only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. I've prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that would be the case. There's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. And then in memory 15, Return of Calamity Ganon, you can see both Link and Zelda walking back from Mount Lunaru. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayu. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. And that's a kind of similar... Um... Uh, that was a really similar route, and I think that when Zelda went to each of the three springs, she awakened part of the power for her sealing abilities. And, it, and it's kind of like how Link from Skyward Sword um, got the Triforce emblem on his hand every time he got um, his sword forged, from the Goddess Sword all the way to the Master Sword. Uh, and I think that's quite interesting because I like to believe that um, every time Zelda prayed, she awakened more and more of a power and and if you look at it every zelda like let's say from i think uh somewhere around minish cap up until Breath of the world were all able to use their powers in some way whether it's zelda being able to um for several more of time being able to um create light arrows for link whether it's um returning the world in the minish cap back to normal um that kind of thing. And I like to think that, um, as I said before, every time um, Zelda went up to, to the spring, she got more and more power. And yeah, so like, if let's say, um, let's say she, let's say when she went to Mount Lineu for to go to the spring of wisdom, I like to think that she had the, uh, you know, like the wisdom being, you know, Zelda's element or Zelda's part of the Triforce. I like to think that that's possibly some of her um, wisdom coming through and, and trying to like helping her trying to finally find a lot uh, of way to unlock her sealing ability. And also in the secret memory that, that you can find after finding every single other memory in the um, Shigit's Light, um, you can see for, for like two or three seconds that the Triforce mark is on her hand when, when she first activates her ability. Triforce's power helping Zelda um, get her um, get her to use her abilities for the first time, and I think that's I think that'd be quite cool. And now I'm going to be talking about um, the other possible locations for the Triforce. So when it comes to Breath of the Wild 2, 
we haven't had that many trailers. We've had we've seen like a couple here and there, um, that being the teaser trailer and I think the two other trailers I think, or I think I think there's like been two or three, and in those trailers we've seen some things of what we can hope to imagine to see in the game, and um, some of the locations I think that the travels could be at is at the um, Sky Islands. The, um, uh, the Underground Caverns and Hyrule Castle. Now, I like to think that these three locations all all have one part of the Triforce. So, the Sky Islands have um, the tri tri Triforce of Courage, the Underground Caverns have the um, Triforce of Power, and the and Hyrule Castle has the Triforce of Wisdom. And all these lo three of these locations all represent different parts of what makes them for them. So if you look at the Sky Islands, they are they look more peaceful and also you've got that robot with the swirling energy. So I like to think that that the location of the Triforce of Courage, mainly because if um, if they do play an important part of the game, um, I, I would like to see Link going through some of the temples in the in the islands and proving his courage and, and in that in that form then uh, him getting the Triforce of Courage with Hyrule Castle that's mainly because the royal family, that's where the royal family is, and every single princess called Zelda has has some of, ha, or has some kind of power that they have. Whether it's being able to seal away Clancy Ganon, um, creating light towers, um, trying to seal away demise, whatever, um, whatever game you're play, game you're playing through, each Zelda all have a different kind of power that they can use, and also. They are a reincarnation or a descendant from the original Zelda, who is a reincarnation of um, Hylia in Skyward Sword, and for the underground caverns, that's mainly where um, Gandalf's body is, and as as well as the source of all of the malice, maybe. And you know, the malice is so bright red, and I would like to think that when Gandalf first awakes, he's and 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 he when he starts to regenerate um, itself. I would say that as soon as he gets enough power, he might get the Triforce of Power back into his possession. And we can, and I think that he kind of, I would say, had, um, probably has some sort of spell on him, but also as soon as he resurrects himself, he used some kind of spell to try and resurrect himself a lot better. And we know that Ganondorf can uh, get, uh, can use spells even without the Triforce. When, when you look at Ocarina of Time, he's able to create a ball of energy and hurl it at Link. And I, I would like to think that when he gets the Triforce of Power, he gets he gets um, more powerful by the minute because of because the Triforce of Power amplifies his strength and magic and stuff like that. And I like to think that um, in the trailer that we see when Zelda falls down into the pit, I like to think that Gandalf's way of splitting up both Zelda and Link so that as soon as he gets enough power, he can try to um, steal the Triforce away from um, Zelda if she's got like the Triforce of Wisdom, and then when he's got that part of the Triforce, he can go and face off Link because he's now got uh, two parts of the Triforce, and then he can get the Triforce of Courage, and then he can become more powerful and um, more stronger, so they can take over Hyrule. And I think that's an interesting way of if if, if Nintendo are going this way, that'll be an interesting way of showing how powerful Gandalf has become because if you look at him in the games that he's appeared in whether it's Gandalf as a human version or as Ganon, his beast form he has various powers and he's shown various different strengths and I like to think that in Breath of the Wild 2 this will be the strongest version of Gandalf ever and that, and that he can and that he's able to take the Triforce for himself and I like and hopefully if he does get the whole Triforce, and he does use it, I would like to see him use it for himself, because we don't really get to see Gandalf use it all that much, um, as a, 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 as a Triforce, Triforce as a whole. Um, I think one of the few times he has used it is possibly in um, The Legend of the Ocarina of Time, when he went into the Sacred Realm, and he almost used the Triforce in uh, The Wind Waker, but in... Um, Breath of the Wild 2, I would love to see him on screen use the Triforce for himself and he can then possibly take over Hyrule or something like that and then 
let's say, after he uses the whole Triforce, it could cut up, cut to like a few years later, or let, let's say five to ten years later, and then Link could wake up and then beat Gandalf again, and maybe Zelda could help, could help him throughout some of the game, like some of the temples and stuff like that. And yeah, so that's been my theory video for the possible locations of the Triforce. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and until the next video.